Hey guys, uh, it's Music Blues here, and I'm here with Easy Emily of the Sassy Sisters. Um, you may have just seen that we just finished a live stream of Sea of Thieves' recent event. Uh, they just previewed some stuff about uh, 2022 and what's coming up for the game. Uh, but in addition to that, me and Em also learned learned, and this was obvious, but uh, they sh they did mention that they will be closing the arena. Uh, so I figured that it would be nice to go over the community post that they uh, just dropped talking about some of the things uh, that they're doing. So since it, uh, Easy Emily here is the CFP's expert, I'm going to pass it on to her to talk about it first. So take it away. All right. So this is a pretty lengthy wall of text, but um, since I am good with uh, business talk too, um, I can pretty much tell you that uh, first of all, the first two paragraphs are just, or first three paragraphs, excuse me, are just a bunch of glitter text. And, but here's the actual important part, is the closing the arena. Uh, I don't know if Muse Clues is uh, scrolling that down to you guys so you can see it. Uh, but um, hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on. This what? is where this is where it's gonna really, really, really make some of you mad. Um, because to those of you that do play arena and just hearing about this, you're probably gonna go. Uh, on a rant spree with Rare. Indeed, indeed. Uh, but give me one second, M. I will. Sh I'm going to share screen with uh, with you guys so you guys can see what this is real quickly. Um, um, and then I'm going to reshare Emily Emily si side so you guys can see what she's talking about because you probably have no clue what she's talking about right now. <laughs> Yeah, unless you're CFE's player. Yes, yes, obviously. Yes. yes, which is what this is aimed at. So if you're a you're another person, I mean, by all means, stick around if you want to. But this is aimed at CFE's players. Yes. Okay. Now I am gonna switch screens real quickly so you guys can see see what we are talking about. Okay, just one quick second. Okay, and there we go. All right, now I'm just going to uh, uh, switch sharing. Stop sharing screen. Share screen. Okay, so this is what we were talking about. So basically, if you see it right here, here, you can see the first three paragraphs right here that Emily was talking about earlier. Right, but that's just showing off stats and a bunch of glitter text pretty much. So you can sk skip over that if you just want to get to the good part. Right. That you want to actually hear. Right. <clears throat> okay. Because bear in mind, that's what they did in the preview event too. They just had a bunch of glitter speech and everything saying, oh, hey, here's what we did. I mean, unless you're a new player, then yeah, that was important to you, I think. But um, if you're someone like us who just needs actual info, that was just not necessary. Indeed. Okay, so what's the next part that they should look at? Okay, so where it says in bold, closing the arena, uh, basically, if you're someone who cares about being a fashionista in the game, uh, this is where it's going to hit home for you, uh, and you're probably going to get pretty mad. Indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> uh, two things for you uh, to ask yourself and check for yourself if you do actually care about the cosmetics I'm about to mention. Uh, one, are you at least level five in arena? And part two of that, if you are at least level five, then how about level 50, the maximum rep amount? 
because <clears throat> this is where it's really going to hit home again. Oh, am I echoing? Uh, no. All right. Okay. So, um, if you're at least level five, uh, you're going to get the, let me see right here where it says, I think it's, uh, oh yeah, um, whole figurehead sails and flag. That's all you're going to get. Non anchor and not a helm. So, that's basically what you're going to get. Hall, figure it, sales, and flag for these four sets I'm about to mention if you're level five. As our scout chip set, uh, if you recognize that and you like that, try to at least get to level five. Uh, Flame and Jackal, uh, the red chip, uh, Golden Chaser, that was the um, yellow chip. Uh, Lucky Rover, that was the green ship with the Lucky Clover on it. Uh, Regal Hound, um, I forgot what color that was in Arena, but uh, if you like that ship set, then go ahead. Uh, try to get at least level 5 for any of those I mentioned. And that's only if you play today. They literally gave everyone up till today to earn those five. Okay? And they just now say it. They just now said, um, excuse me, arena players, but if you're at least level five, you get these cosmetics. That's basically what they said. Um, they just announced this today, guys. So unless you were someone super close to Rare, uh, and you knew about this already, uh, yeah, they just announced this. So, uh, yeah, if you're, for whatever reason, wanting those ships causes Max and you're not level 5, then what are you doing? Get off your bomb, get in game, get in arena, get in at least level 5. It shouldn't be that hard. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, so uh, if you are watching this video, video, what are you staying around here for? Go in, into Arena, and then you can come back and read the rest of it, watch the rest of it after you're done. I'd rather you not waste time. Yeah, and then uh, the real grind, level 50 in Arena, because they didn't just rip on it at all. So that's, of course, going to be your maximum level in Arena. Um, so if you're sweat, this might be for you. Uh, get off your bum and go. Because, um, yeah, if you get your level 50 in Arena today, um, 6 p.m. GMT exactly is the cutoff. Um, and again, this is today, guys, that they're going to cut off. So uh, you can wave goodbye to those if uh, you just did not care enough. Indeed. Um, but yeah, if you're level 50, you're going to get the good boy ship, which was the white ship. The clean white. The clear crystal white. You know that ship. The dog. Um, I don't know if, if that clears anyone's memory, but yeah, that's what that ship was. So white one, that's the good boy. Okay. So again, Cutoff point for that is today at 6 p.m. UK time. Um, I don't know if that time has passed already. In fact, Music Blues, can you do a quick time zone look up on that? Yes, certainly. Okay, so uh, first things first, for those who live in the central time, which is my time zone, uh, uh, that would be, oh, shoot. It's already past that here in the U.S., uh, at least in Central Time. You are not sure, sure if anybody's already done, done that, but if you were playing CFEs before this and actually hit that, then you're pretty much good in the Central Time. Uh, let me see. What is that in, in uh, uh, 
uh, and Eastern. Give me one second. Eastern to Eastern. There we go. Oh, shoot. Already passed it for that too. So uh, by the time this video goes up, you would have missed the deadline date. So if you were playing Alina at all prior to this, you pretty much got in. And if you already hit those. Right. So, um, yeah, this video is probably going to be uh, just pretty ear saying for you at this point. But um, pretty much, uh, and this is what me personally, I'm hitting my head on the wall for this, um, that they just now decide to say out of the blue, oh, hey, we're closing right now, here are your rewards. Like, that's, excuse me for getting pissed off again, but if you're going to do something like that, announce it early. Why are you guys constantly dropping the ball? Like, they've already done twice today already. <laughs> it's stuff like this that I really don't bother with online games all that much. <laughs> right. So, <clears throat> here we go to the key questions section. Uh, yes, you can still play, play Arena, move up through the ranks, earn accommodations, and unlock the ability to purchase cosmetics and titles until we close, until they close the game mode on March 10th. Yes. So basically, we did. Which I believe March 10th is the anniversary for Sea of Thieves, if I'm not mistaken, by the way. Let me look up Sea of Thieves of uh, release date just to be safe. Uh, sea of Thieves, it should be here. Sea of Thieves. There we go. And no, March 20th. So 10 days. All right. So okay. te- so you All have right. basically 10 days before CFP's anniversary to continue to play the, the mode. So you'll still be able to move up to Pluto Links uh, and, and any cosmetics for the Sea Dogs. Um, and uh, you'll still be able to get some titles too as well. So if you want any of that, you still have plenty of time to at least get those. So yeah. Right. So again, guys, if you care about the ship cosmetics we mentioned, then sorry, you're out of time. That's not going to happen for you. But if you care about arena in general, then yeah, you got plenty of time. Go ahead, hop in, stay out with your friends, do whatever you need to do to complete your goals in there. Because once it closes, it's going to be gone for good. It, they're not going to bring it back. Indeed. Unless by some happenstance they decide to but that's likely not that <laughs> right so um the second question on the key questions they have is re- retroactively earning anything they mentioned and that's a no that's a no um again this ship cosmetics is the ship six ship cosmetics my gosh i cannot talk today um yeah six ship cosmetics uh those are gone if you're just now watching this video, those should be gone for you. Sorry. Okay. I, yeah, unfortunately, I feel bad for anybody who's watching this video and is just finding that out right now. But <laughs> like yeah. I like I said, this is why I don't bother with online games. Last minute drops do not suit me at all. Right. Um, let's see, what will happen to any C Cosmetics that you've already purchased? Um, they'll remain in your chest um, and still be equipable. So if you have a California closet of a chest like I do and care about your Cosmetics, don't worry, it's still going to be there, okay? <laughs> I know how us ladies love to dress up, but yeah, don't stress your pants now, ladies. It's still going to be there. It, that lovely sea dog dress that's still going to be there. Exactly. No, I be, honestly really doubt see if peace will really do that. But just a warning, you reminder: you still got to be, you still got to make sure that you're pretty, uh, that you don't, uh, don't get yourself banned from Microsoft Microsoft's online service. Because if you do, then 
you're pretty much going to lose those cosmetics for life. Life. So uh, as I always say, be a good sailor on the seas. Seas and don't do anything you'll regret later. Because if you have cosmetic, because uh, especially for cosmetics like these, if you have very rare cosmetics, medics, like what Irina does clothes, then you're going to lose out, out on those for life. So, uh, right now, now part, part B of this question, uh, for Pyre Legends, uh, any sea dog items that you've not unlocked, uh, in the Pyre Legend, you know, the Pyre Legend weapon set and the Victoria Sea Dog Blunderbuss and the Pyre Legend Night Out, um, those are no longer going to be visible if you have been unlocked them. Um, so basically, you're going to lose out if you're just sitting on the pile of cash you have. Uh, buy it. What are you doing? Go buy it. it I'm like, go buy, buy it. Do you know how it, how, how often, often they bring it back? Not often. So, uh... Yeah, Power Legends. If you care about those, get off your bum. What you doing? Pause view. Go sail. Yes, yes, yes. You heard um, <laughs> And if you don't have, uh, 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 have the cash, like I M said, what are you sitting on your bum for? for? Go in to see if thieves and do so right now. Now, because trust me, once these cosmetics are gone, they're likely not going to be back, back, back unless the decides by sheer luck to make it available. available. And off chance of that happening it is slim to none. So, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and go do it. Uh, all right. All right. And then, then I part C of that. Um, if you haven't locked these items for purchase, they'll remain purchasable. Uh, if you have not unlocked these items, they'll no longer be visible to you. Again, saying uh, that you need to unlock them. But uh, if you want to keep them, at least get the accommodations for them. Basically, is what they're saying. Uh, then they'll stick around, but if you, if for some off chance that uh, you did not complete the prerequisites for them, then I'm sorry, hon. Uh, your luck's up. Pretty much what Em said, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer, really. Right. All right. Um, and let's see. To allow players to still complete the Power Legend set, a new Pyro Legend weapon set is being worked on and will be made available to obtain soon. I... All right. So, again, guys, don't pull your pants down over it. Uh, they're working on it. Okay? <laughs> Who knows? I hope it's better because, um, yeah, I know I at least got one of them. And honestly, I think I think uh, it could be better. Hey, if that's coming right. from and, and, and that's coming from a fellow pyro and, legend, by the way. Yeah, and non pyro legends. Um, if you're going to ask if it's if it's going to count towards the year pyro legend stat uh, for the arena rank, uh, yeah, there's. The game will still honor that as your primary three. Um, that's why I like to coin it primary three, because uh, you need at least three ranks at level 50 for Power Legend. That's still the status quo. To know your Power Legend status that you might have forgotten to roll into while you were sleeping overnight. Uh, yeah, in the morning, you can still do that. So go to bed. If you're watching this late at night and you just now got your power legend, just go to bed. It'll still be there in the morning. Indeed, indeed. And let's see um, what will happen to um, achievements, ties to the arena and the sea dogs. Um, let's see, live operations um, team for them is currently investigating. The options regarding achievements linked to the arena. Uh, as soon as they have a final plan, we'll, they'll update the key questions as far as part of the saying goodbye to the arena article. Um, okay, so let's see. So, 
if I may, you know, if you. So may... we'll. Hmm? Let's see. Okay, so they're taking questions. Yes. Okay, so. All right, so let's. So while I go through, uh, why don't you just, uh, yeah, why don't you just help everybody digest thoughts, uh, music clues? Sure thing. Okay, so for those who don't know, um, if you uh, those who don't know, uh, for life service games especially, achievement hunters really do love doing achievements. But when a section of that closes, the achievements are pretty much unlock unlockable, lockable. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a little annoying annoying for that to happen. I'm not sure what they're going to be able to do, unfortunately, in terms of that. Uh, so yeah, it, but if I were you, if you're an achievement hunter and love to do that, I wouldn't sit about, around here watching this video, video. I would go into your thieves and unlock any of those achievements that you haven't already done, done. Cause trust me when I say it's better to do it now than hold it off later. Cause February is going to fly by with all the games coming out too. So, uh, <laughs> I uh, do it now than later. Trust me. You will not regret, regret binding cause it can actually be worth it. All right, so I'm so through. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that means uh, Notorious Arena League's gonna die. Uh, so if you're a fan of that community, that's going to die. That's going to go away. Pretty much. Yep. All right. So uh, we'll uh, make another video again with any other significant things like this as we said during the stream. But um yeah, that this seems like pretty much it. Yeah. Of course, we'll throw in edits as we need to, but for right now, this looks pretty much it. Yes, this is pretty much it for the arena. If we hear any changes, of course, of course, we'll let you guys know know in our next video or anything. But this is pretty much it in terms of the arena. So if you had any uh, other questions, I'll leave a link in the description below. Below, if you're watching on my channel channel to the CFP's article so you guys can take a look for yourselves and leave your final thoughts about Arena as well. Now, do note that they did specifically say they are not reversing any decisions on this. So no matter what you guys do, do you cannot change their minds, unfortunately. Yep, it's sense so um, rare as a business. They're not like um, he's close and I where we can flip a switch. It's a, exactly. This is a very big business decision, decision for Mayor to even consider. It does sting. I won't lie, lie, but I can understand where they are coming from. They do need to move on, on. And like I said, so, and like I said during the stream, they are running on an older engine, engine. Uh, so they need to make cuts where they can, unfortunately. And it does sting, but hey. Hey, who knows? Maybe if we upgrade the engine at one point or something happens, maybe Arena might be back someday. But for the time being, it's provide to the Arena. Right. Right. And um, of course, um, that leaves a big unknown of what happens to the stories of those characters. Like, are they just forgotten? Or, like, that's the one question pondering in my mind right now, or at least someone I know. Ah. Uh, I'll have that. Hold on a second. Let uh, let me just uh, share screen with you again so they, the fans can see you. Oh, that's there we go. That's better. Uh, but yeah, that is a question in my mind too. What's going to happen to the characters that were specifically tied to the arena? Will we never see them again, or will they somehow return in the new adventure mo mode? Hey, and plus, plus Sea Dog Tavern, like that's tied to the arena. So what are they going to do to the map? And that was basically called uh, the capital of the map, that one rock. Is it just going to be like, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do to it. Indeed. Indeed. So there's still some questions that Ben needs to answer for that, but 
hopefully, hopefully in terms of the characters, I have a feeling that they would just simply toss them out. So uh, I think we'll see them again for sure. But as for the uh, as for the Sea Doc Tavern, you got me. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I'm not sure what's going to happen to that. That, but for sure, for those who are, are fans of those characters inside the Sea Doc Tavern, we will see. I have faith that we will see them again. If I end up being wrong, oh, oops. But I have confidence that we'll see them again. I mean, for crying out loud, one of Emily's favorite characters that she literally screamed in my ear <laughs> is returning. Well, it wasn't a faith. It's just uh, was much anticipated over by fellow community mates of mine. Oh. Um, and yeah, yeah, blinging on my phone. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, bell, 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 over and over and over. Yeah, so you, yeah, so you could definitely see she was highly anticipated to be part of this. But either way, like, like I said, this is all for the arena. This is just specifically on the arena stuff. As arena is closing at the start of season six, when that launches uh, on March 10th. So you guys basically have 10, 10 days, uh, basically have up until 10 days before the anniversary of Sea of Thieves, Thieves to get this, uh, to play on Arena. That's not much time. Right. Um, as for the ship sets, um, unless you're some, somehow your time zone still within that deadline, then I guess just grind as much as you can. But other than that, for the deadline for everybody else and yeah okay yeah it's pretty you pretty much have no chance of catching up so uh i'm so so sorry uh sorry for those who didn't get the cosmetics but for those who still uh, have a chance like i said said i hope you didn't finish watching this video and waste precious time time because honestly see i rather you get grinding in waste precious time so yeah uh and for those who still are, and for those who are still worried about the cosmetics like i am said uh for your private and stuff you still have plenty of time to earn those and to earn those like literally you have a whole month so long as like any games don't distract you so you have plenty of time to get it but i wouldn't put it off if i were you All right all right, so uh, yeah, that's gonna be it from us, from us guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure to uh, leave your thoughts and comments below. If you're an easy these player, let us know what you think. And make sure to hit the subscribe button um, and like button on the way out uh, from whatever side um, of us you're watching from. Indeed. All right, that is all from both of us. And this is Music Clues of the Media Maniacs. And Easy Emily of Sassy Sister signing off. And y'all have a nice gaming day. And we hope to see you on the seas later. Yep. 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 Sorry, Arena players. Sad day for you. Sorry. Yeah, very sad day. Day. Oh. Uh, and before we sign off, one more thing. Thank you to all the arena players. Play, players, players. I know I can't speak on Mayor's behalf, but being dedicated to such a almost completely dead mode, mode on an online game is not easy. So I can imagine how disappointed you are. But think about it. About it. the fact that it lasted this long. It lasted. It, this thing opened in two thousand eight. It lasted one, two, three, four years. Four years. I can't say that for many online games. And the fact that they kept it alive for that long, long says a lot. So you have a lot to be thankful for and you have a lot, lot to be proud of. So uh, just remember that you were one of the arena players. And if you've been here since the launch, launch of arena, then you have a lot to be proud of. So thank you for being dedicated to CFPs arena mode. I'm very proud of you as a fellow CFPs player. And I know for a fact that Rare does appreciate all of you for being around and definitely being there, there, there because Arena is not an easy thing to dedicate to. We've played it. So, right. yeah, yeah, but 
congratulations to all of their players. I'm sorry that this has had to happen to you, but be proud of what you have accomplished in arena. And do yourself a favor. If you want one of your aggressive players, could you please go easy on us and pee in adventure mode? I asked nicely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, PV is kind of killing c adventure mode, so calm it down. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> but yeah, all seriousness, now we can sign off. See you guys later. Yep, bye. Okay, and...